All right, so I just wanted to make a quick video about how displacement works in Adventure Resolve because it's a little bit different than AE. We have an image, right? We have this image right here, it's Anya. And then we have uh, a gradient. This is a normal gradient. We have white on one end, which is if we look at the value of white or how do you make white in a program, uh, all the RGB values are up. So the red and the red on the screen, is, the red of the color is when we at one. So it's the green and the blue and so on. And then you have the black, which is black in color. So it's going to be at a value of zero for all of this. And this is how you your, your basic gradient. And I just have a posterized effect, which makes it so it's boxy kind of gradient like this. So you can see the difference between when we put it into a displace. So let me add a displace node like this and we connect our image into our displace, the yellow input of the displace. And then we put our gradient map into the displace. And you can see if you just move it, you can see wherever it is white, the displace node will react to place that is white on the gradient and wherever it is black it will not move but that's kind of how it is in after effects the place where it won't move is the color gray so if you're in after effects if it was gray it would be saying the same and then this side would move one side and this side would move to the other in order to do that individual resolve you need to instead of having this be zero you need to make these values negative one we have it at negative one and now we bring it back and we displace it you have our right side coming closer to the screen and our left side going further away from the screen because that's multiplying it by a negative value and so it's making the screen go further away and with the closer eyes you can see these little steps just like this and it's all different the displacement works wherever it is white it will move one way it's at a value of one and if you have a different value say the black value to a negative one it'll go in the opposite direction it'll move in the opposite way that the white is moving and then you have black which makes it so it just doesn't move at all but those are the main things you need to know about displacement and i think it's important to know when you're trying to do more complicated stuff and then also there's other great displace nodes in they're not in davinci resolve but you can get for example if you go and get visions pack that he released for free you have the vision displacer pro which is a node that you can get so let's connect our map and our image to it and we have this if we look, take a look at it, we have the maximum value that's allowed being at negative one. I changed that, it used to be zero. And then I put normalize, and then you can see if we move like this up and down. You have the white side that's moving down and the black side that's moving up. But since we have a negative value, it's going to be going the other way. So, and technically in the middle is where our black value is. And yeah, you can just do a bunch of cool stuff with this once you know uh, how to use it. And so yeah, that's, that is displacement. I will put a link to Visions Pack in the description if you are interested in getting that. But yeah, that is how displacement works in Adventure Resolve.